When it comes to filming videos, exposure is extremely important and lighting a scene perfectly isn't the easiest thing to do. The waveform monitor is useful when you need to know how bright your subject or shot is without guessing, especially if you're filming outside and are unable to see your camera's monitor well. This is what a waveform looks like and it may be difficult to read if you're looking at this for the first time. In this video, I'm going to show you how to read the waveform monitor on a Ninja 5. So let's get into it. If you're new here, I'm Desiree and I make videos on how to level up your photo and video content. So hit the subscribe button if you're into that. The waveform monitor measures the brightness of an image. It measures the brightness in IRE, which stands for Institute of Radio Engineers, who are the people that came up with it. This measurement goes from 0 to 100 IRE. 0 meaning that your blacks are clipped and your image is underexposed and doesn't have any information. 100 IRE is that your whites are clipped and that the area is overexposed with no details. What makes a waveform monitor useful is that it tells you where the over and underexposed areas are in the frame, not just if the shot is overexposed or under. It's different from a histogram because the histogram shows you exposures from left to right, while the waveform monitor displays the exposure vertically. To turn on the waveform monitor, you'll press this button here that kind of looks like a histogram. You can change the size of it just by double tapping at the monitor. See, it makes it horizontal with the length of the monitor. And again, it's just a mini version here. But if you want to see it up close, this would be the best one to use. On the left side, you'll see that the scale goes from 0 to 100 IRE. The waveform is providing you with information in the horizontal and vertical axis. The horizontal or the x-axis gives you a visual reference of where the exposure is in your shot in real time from left to right. The left side, middle and right side of the waveform monitor corresponds to the left, middle and right side of your shot. So when I move my hand, you can see that it moves on the monitor as well, telling you where exactly in the frame the exposure is, which you can't get on a histogram. The vertical axis or the Y axis is telling you how bright or dark the areas in the image are from top to bottom. At the very top is 100 IRE, where whites are clipped and on the bottom is 0 IRE, where the blacks are clipped. You don't want the waveform monitor to pass the 0 or 100 levels. You want to keep the exposure in your shot somewhere between 0 and 100. So you can see right here it is clipping at 100 IRE. It's actually surpassing it. And I know that this is caused by the monitor. This is the brightness of the screen that's telling me it's too bright and it's overexposed. So I could easily fix that on the monitor, but that's because I have the monitor in the shot. So I'll just go here and lower the brightness of the monitor and you can see it coming down right away. So if I change my lighting or my camera settings, it'll show you the change in exposure as well. Now I'm going to increase the lighting and as I'm increasing it, you can see the waveform monitor going up closer towards 100 IRE. Now you can see how bright it is not only on myself, but on the monitor as well. Now I'll lower it back to my normal. and it goes back down. And if I even lower it more, you can see the waveform monitor going down as well. So it tells you in real time exactly how bright it is. Now we'll go back to the normal light. Now when I change the ISO on my camera, you could see as I lower it, the waveform goes down. And when I bring it back up, to the ISO I had it on, it goes up in real time. And I'll even keep going and increasing it. And you can see it's clipped, it's way overexposed. So let me bring it back down. And it's back to being in between zero and 100. 
Using a waveform monitor is the most reliable way to make sure your exposure is right before you start recording. So that wraps up this video. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and click on the bell to get notified of when I post new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.